a bowl of apples for some fresh homemade applesauce. Yum! Hello family, it is I, back again to share another What's in My Pantry because for uh, the coronavirus. Well, as you can see today, online order, some things, some things. You know what? It's the service I would like to tell folks who live in the LA County area. It's basically for senior citizens, 60 and older, and if you have a disability also, you can use that service. But let me finish getting talking about what I have, what I got from an online order, and then I'll get back to the um, information about the delivery service for the LA County area citizens, residents. But anyway, so as you can see, we have some cherry tomatoes, yum yum. I have some bell peppers, a pack of bell peppers, some Bob's Red Mill organic coconut flour that I replace that I use when I replace the grains and stuff. And I also have some French's Worcester sauce, reduced sodium. Doesn't have a lot of weird, strange ingredients in it. And as you can see, the two boxes behind it are some Del Monte stewed tomatoes. I accidentally ordered two more boxes of those stewed tomatoes because I forgot I had already ordered some. <laughs> Anyway, the stewed tomatoes are great to use in spaghetti, stuffed bell peppers, Spanish rice, uh, meatloaf, a variety of dishes you can use the stewed tomatoes in. Now, some of my canned goods, I do plan on wrenching some of those things off because some of them might have a little bit too much salt, and I will wrench like the beans and stuff off like that. Just a little note to sell. Also, I uh, purchased some Kraft's five pack, the macaroni and cheese. Now, as you can see, this um, some things have great value, and most of you might know that brand is from Walmart. So these um, macaroni and cheese they came from Walmart. Great deal on this on this uh, five pack. Don't ask me how much it was because I don't remember. My um, amnesia is setting in, and not amnesia. What is it, Alzheimer, amnesia, whatever one is clicking in, so I forget right now. But anyway, anyway, let me finish sharing. I have the raisins. I think I mentioned in a previous video, I was ordering these containers of raisins for my husband's oatmeal cookies. I got two of those, and that was a good deal on those. It wasn't pricey at all. And also, I like this here, the tarragon. Oh, I love the scent of that herb right there. What else? Oh, and I have some Grey Poupon uh, Dijon mustard. It's going to be good in some of those salads I mentioned. Potato salad, chicken salad, tuna salad, bean salad, pasta salad, egg salad. It's good in all that. Oh, okay. Anyway, I also, I got 10 cans of this Hunt's No Salt Added Tomato Sauce, which will be great in um, dishes where I prefer not to use a lot of salt, which I'm not using a lot of salt anyway, but this is good to have anyway. Oh, and I also have two packs of this Mission White Corn Tortillas. As you can see also back there is some Mexican style cheese, two bags of that. And also, also I have this, how much big is how much big? What is the heck I'm saying? How much big? Okay, this is a 15 pound baking soda. This came from Sam's Club. And hold on. I know what I want to say. Sam's Club, they don't have any more chicken. Apparently, no beef. Cornish hens. And what else? Zucchini. Why am I singing? And anyway. Sam's Club is so bad, they have bought all the chicken and stuff out because I'm telling you, I put in an order online for some meat. 
And would you believe every single piece of meat that I placed in my basket, I did not receive. They let me know from that experience that the meat shortage is real and people are buying up meat. In Sam's Club, it's only limit one pack of meat per kind, I, I believe. But I think they really snatched my meat out of my basket because the order wasn't due until two days. And I believe they went back there and just took my meat out and gave it to somebody else. I really do believe that. But anyway, we was lucky to get some meat some from somewhere else, which we can't get any more meat because the freezer is entirely packed. Hold on, I think I can show you. Okay, family, you probably can't see too good, but this is my chest tight freezer and it is packed to capacity. The other day, I took everything out of here because I had it thrown in here any old kind of way. I had to take everything out, lay it down flat like you're supposed to when you put stuff in the freezer in order to use it to capacity. So everything I had taken out, had to take out, then lay it back in here flat and you know in different directions in order to like a puzzle in your freezer when you're trying to pack it <laughs> but anyway the freezer's packed i have i don't have every kind of meat but we do have roast which i was desiring to get a roast and that's what one of the items they snatched out of my basket from sam's club roast so we have roast pork chops chicken ribs fish shrimp uh i have the oxtails and basically like chicken i do have leg thighs in here and um hamburger meat hamburger meat ground beef ground turkey stuff like that so forth but i don't have all kinds of meat but i have enough meat to do what i'm going to do so the freezer yes is packed so we pretty much stocked up over here in the freezer department i'll be back family y'all ain't got to worry about janita and so and so and so and so LA County, Southern California, in place of my address. <laughs> but this is my refrigerator freezer. Up there, that's a bunch of chicken wings and all in the middle, bacon, ground beef, all kind of frozen vegetables. This one filled up too. Oh, I'm back y'all. I will share that information about the senior citizens in the LA County area being provided a service to deliver your groceries so you don't have to be out there in the coronavirus atmosphere. Cause I'm telling you, since we got these stimulus checks, I ain't saying I got one. But anyway, uh, the folks that got them, the streets are packed and everything is a mess out here. So senior citizens, y'all ain't got to go out there. I'm gonna leave a number in the description back, the description box, be back. Family, don't y'all forget, oh shoot, it's dark. Don't y'all forget to um, try and do a lot of ordering online. Oh, just let me wrap this up. Y'all remember, do a lot of shopping online and hopefully your glass items that you order don't get cracked or busted, stuff like that. You will get a refund if that stuff does happen. That's the only thing I fear about ordering online is my glass items being damaged, destroyed. And these folks are packaging your packages all wrong and everything. I just hate that. That's disgusting. But anyway, family, be safe and be smart and get you guys what y'all need. Oh, I know what I want to say. And if any of my grocery hauls are offending any of you guys, please don't watch my, any more of my videos. And especially if you're going to leave comments that might suggest that you are offended because I don't know why, because your money is not purchasing any of these things I'm buying over here. So if any of this stuff offends thee, get thee the hell on up out of my videos because I, this is my stuff. This is what I'm doing with my money. It's not your money, so don't get offended. Or if you do, who gives a hell? Who gives a hell? Who gives a hell? That's the kind of way I'm not using a bad, bad words over here swearing and stuff, huh? But anyway, enjoy my videos, family. But you know I'm not talking to y'all, but you know I do have a a YouTube family that watches my videos. And I, I don't know. I just y'all know my comments are um are um selective. I don't let negative stuff come on my page. So if you saying negative stuff on my page uh, that's offensive to me, your comment will not be shared. I only want nice, beautiful comments. So like I said, if any of what I'm doing is offending you. 
just don't watch because I'm taking care of business over here at LA County, Southern California apartment. I'm doing what I need to do to take care of me and mine. So whatever it takes, I'm doing it. And thank y'all for watching. Family, love y'all. Take care. Bye. You guys, I almost forgot to share my big old giant jar of whole flax seeds. I think, I think, I think I got this from Amazon. I'm not sure. I don't even remember. But um, this is my flax seeds that I grind up to use in place of flour for my new diet. Okie doke.